Okay, so it's Halloween week, and what better thing to make on Halloween week than a witch? So we've got five sessions starting on today, Monday, and we're going to work through all of those sessions, starting with this one, which is the broom. Okay, Halloween week. Uh, day one of five going to do one of these every day and we're going to make a witch so how do we make a witch so first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to take symmetry off so i'm going to push forward i don't want a mirror because i'm going to make a broom so day one we'll make the broom for the witch so go for a brown color so basically i'm left-handed so as you can see i'm using my dominant hand is this left one and I'm spraying in the air in front of me with the trigger and the tool that I'm using is clay. Now what I could do is I could I'll just undo that because what I want to do is make some brushes first. So how, what does that mean? So I'm just going to make some rough looking shapes. And they don't, it doesn't really matter what, what the shape is because this is going to be what we call a stamp. And this is going to drive, I want a definite line up through the middle. This is going to be what the wood looks like. So there's that done, push forward, no, sorry, pull down, click on it. And we want to do this here, which is stamp. So we've now made a stamp. I'm gonna lower the resolution, decrease the resolution. I always like to have quite a low resolution. And then that gives me, see how it gives me like that striation, or I can turn it around this way by pressing the middle of the thumbstick. I can use it that way, that doesn't work as well. Um, so there we go, so let's make a broomstick now. So we want a nice long broom handle, lots of knotty wood in it. So you can see it's coming around here, comes down here. So she's going to fly generally this way. So we'll try and make it look good from this angle. It's down to where, down here, you're going to have where all of the broom kind of meets all of the, the tangled sticks. So we're already there, already just with one tool. It's, you know, we already look like we've got wood going on which is cool. So I'll just make it really interesting and knotty and woody. So I want a big knobbly bit on the end here. Go slower if you want less. That, that, that stepping there is because I've gone fast like this. So if you just basically do it slower and rotate, then you'll get a much more woody feel to it. And then keep, so I've gone too fast there again. Making it nice and woody. If it's too much, double click. So double click with the green button. Gives me the red, and that's the negative, so I can negative things away there. I just choose it away. This is one of the powers of voxel sculpting. Um, one of the reasons you absolutely love it. If you haven't tried voxel sculpting, it's about time you did. Um, get hold of a friend's headset if you haven't got one. Um, and then just once you've tried it, you'll know what I mean. If you're if you're into sh making shapes and you don't like to get too techy, then um, Adobe Medium is the is the thing for you. If you hear me say Oculus Medium, it's a it's a, a slip. And the reason I say it for those who don't know is that Medium was owned by Facebook. The Medium team used to work for the Facebook company, a company that's now known as Facebook. And what happens is, in 2019, is that Adobe purchased them. So it's become one of the, you know, the Adobe suite, and it's in with the family of things like Substance Painter and Substance Designer. So you can imagine where that's going to go in the future. It's going to be embedded in that pipeline of, of tools, which is a great, it's a great addition. See me rolling around there like that. And that's nearly it. We're nearly at the end. I'm quite happy with that. I don't even think we need to paint it that much. Maybe later on we'll have a look at that and maybe add some, just add some little nobbles of details here and there. And that'll do me. That's, if you feel like you want to change it a little bit, you can use the inflate tool. And that, certain areas might just want to inflate a little bit. And that can sometimes seal down some of the, the problems that you may have caused, but generally that will be fine. Okay, so we need a new layer now. So we need new layer. In fact, the stick isn't level, so we'll make it level first of all. It's not level in the scene, so we're going to see that upright. 
that's going to be my turntable eventually. So what that means is I can do this. And basically we, with the settings on, I can say enable the turntable. And there uh, you can see as I, as I make this witch, I can show you her building up with the turntable and you can do things like the speed. And that'll show you more accurately as, I, as I'm building her. But we don't want that for now. What we want is this. So let's turn that off, enable to disable. In fact, I'm going to move it over here. I don't even want it. This is a new layer here, this symbol. So new layer. Now what we want to do on the new layer is get a new uh, lighter color for the, this is for the bit at the end of the, of the brush, of, of the broom. So we can use the same uh, little thing, this, this same uh, tool that we've got. But what I will do is I'll lower the resolution again. So go to actions, uh, did increase and decrease, decrease. I'll go really low level for a minute like this. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to do a long thin one like this. It keeps, the colour doesn't seem to. Why is the colour coming out like that? Ah, it's because it's a coloured, um, the actual tool is coloured. So what I'll do is I won't use that. I don't need, because it's. There we go, and that's better. Because it's a um, the stamp that I'm, I'm making, it, it is going to be made, um, now it's being made with a sphere, and I'm just moving a sphere up and down. Um, but it, what it was doing is it was making it with the tool that I had that was a given colour. So that we'll, we'll get into that later on. Once we start painting, I'm just changing the colour of each one of these. I'm keeping it thinner at the end. And that's absolutely fine because that is going there like that and that will become the end of the the broom if you don't quite like it what you can use is this the move tool and you can tweak it like that and what you can do is you could make a stamp I'll show you what happens if you make a stamp so the stamp you see I've got the stamp now and it depends now on the the see the level of the resolution of that layer so might be good might not be good now I'm not helping it there by using continuous if I use single and just stamp it down see how it's gone blocky like that that's because the resolution is too low so if we increase it a little bit the only problem with increasing it it's going to give you a, um, a a larger polygon count than you would probably want it doesn't look too bad but I'm not liking it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo that Instead of doing that way, in fact, I will do, but I'll just put a couple in first because I'm going to duplicate the layer instead. You can see it there. Okay, so that's enough for now. And then pull down thumbstick on the non dominant hand, and you're on this layer here. So, what we're going to do is just go duplicate, and I'll do a few more. So, duplicate, 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 and then we're going to mash them all together in a minute. But what I want to do first is this. I want to use a large move tool and just move it around like this. Pick another one, move it around like this. And you can see what I'm doing there. It's giving me um, lots of different variations in the in the brushes, uh, in the in the uh, the branches. Sorry. So it's starting to look a little bit more like a broom would look. So lots of uh, little different lengths and different bits sticking out and stuff like that. We might colour it at the end, we might, we might paint it a little bit differently at the end. But first of all, what we want is some really very... What we last thing that we want is anything that looks repeatable. Just getting some variety in it. We're nearly there. That's cool, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go back to clay, and then I'm going to go back to any of these two. So sphere will do again. I'm just going to make some rope that will go around here. Keep forgetting to change between continuous. There we go. I'm just going to do the approximation of the rope strapping this thing down. 
And we, to be fair, I'm not going to spend any more time on this bit because this will be under her cloak anyway. So let's make it just in case the cloak ever gets revealed. Just cover it over as much as I need to. We did it on the same layer as that look. Didn't want that. So what I'll do is I will deduplicate. Take that one. Go back to clay. Double click. Red. And then you just remove it all away. Exactly why we love voxel modeling. Put that one back. And then we've got this one, which we'll make a stamp of. Put it back in. And turn it around and add some more. Oh, here we go again. Continuous to single. And there you go. So that in hopefully 15 minutes, I have no idea what time it actually is, has given us um, a broom. So what we can do, because the broom's not the main part of what we're doing, we can click this little ticks here all the way back up to the broom leave the broom so that that would mean the broom uh, the the the, the br can't even speak the the bit that becomes the sweepy bit of the broom is now all going to be meshed with the rope so we'll just basically do merge there you go now that's all one so we should now only have one layer which is the broom and the the sticky branches so if if you get up close and it looks a bit fractured like that you can go in and remove some of that. I would like a switch between continuous and single on the button on the on the hand controller. That would that would help me a lot because I get it wrong so often. And quickly, just as I said, I'm going to paint it. So I'm going to pick a dark color because a broom would get dirty towards the end. I would have thought I would have would have thought that in here in the middle it might be a bit dirtier so I'm just going to spray it all over with a dark at the top I'm just using with my non-dominant hand I'm just spinning around with this the grip the inner grip and then I'm just spraying so it's almost like the real world where I've got a, a model and I'm holding it in my hand and airbrushing onto it so that's quite a real world equivalent and there we go there's our witch's broom so where did we put our um, Somewhere around me, I put the, uh, remember, I put the, this thing, uh, I'll move the plane, so we've got a spinning wheel, uh, or a lathe, and now we've got the, the spinning, oh, I'll have to leave it there like that, further down so it's not in the scene, there we go. So day one, part one, there is our broomstick. Um, you can make that back end a bit bigger if you want. You can you can change it, you can du duplicate it. Um, probably now having a look at it, I probably will duplicate and add it, but that's day one done. So let's move on to day two.